Rios Cup, just how world class everything is. Lahat ng mga racers nito are here to push beyond their limits. If I've been driving this track for six years, trying to do the same lap, just work on it and chip away and get it faster and faster and faster. And I can say that for the past two weeks, I didn't expect na ganito pala kahirap mag circuit racing. Hey guys, it's Troy Montero and I'm car number six in the super sporting class. My name is Ryan Agoncillo. I'm 44 years old and I'm part of the promotional class. Hey guys, what's up? I am Enzo Pineda and I am one of the newbie racers for the Toyota Gazoo Racing 2023 VS Cup. I'm just really, again, thankful that Toyota has called me back and given me another opportunity, you know, Helped my career as far as uh, being a driver in the Toyota Vios Cup. I just hope that I can keep performing the way that I have been and keep uh, improving and hopefully uh, bring back always better results. What inspired me to become a racer? My inspiration really was to impress my kids because by this time, I've had three children na. Tapos yung bunso namin, si Luna, has no idea that daddy uh, races. My dad, ever since he's been a car enthusiast, I, I don't know if it's race-related, but I know mga RC, remote control, I used to compete. So somehow, there's an idea of racing. So I got my passion in race car driving because of him and because of the hobbies that na we namin when I was younger. And I think what's great is along this journey, not only have we grown, I think just the knowledge of racing, um, because there's a huge difference between the classes and most of it is just experience. I've been part of the autocross uh, division for two years. This is a different um, challenge because in autocross, the car is automatic. Dito, you have to learn how to use manual transmission. I came in Having to tell myself na, dude, it's a different ball game. Be open to learn. Yeah, you know, with having this new season, I also have new teammates now. When you have new teammates, you know, this is their first time, first weekend, first practice, first everything. And I remember being there. I definitely, you know, had to learn it as I go, trial by error. But with my teammates, I find it that I want them also to do better. Because you know some of the, the things that I'm telling them are, are from race experience. My teammates helped me. Coach Stewart goes, go follow Troy. And Troy was just, he was really just nice enough to let me tell. It was really just following Troy's line. Very important ang visualization. So it's when you're not racing. So it's kind of like you're imagining yourself driving. It's a, it's a circuit mismo. Imagining where to brake to gas, and I think that's very important. If you really want to get good, you have to be disciplined. Definitely how to handle the car, heal the car. What I love about race car driving because it pushes you beyond your limits. The mindset, the physical, getting good sleep, getting good rest, and staying hydrated is really what it is. But at the same time, it's not just you that you need to rely on, it's also your car. So it teaches you discipline. And I love it. I love that uh, we get to push. Everyone here on the grid is a good embodiment of it because we are pushing the limits and uh, we are getting better. And uh, that's what we're working on every day. Well, I always feel that um, since I'm a newbie, I always feel that there's more room for improvement Eventually, makakahabol din ako sa mga race car drivers na mas mabilis sa akin. I'm 51 years old. There's a lot you can do. Where there's a will, there's a way. So if you really want to push and, and go for it, you know, it's never too late.